Good afternoon everyone. This is card three of uh, coffee, April's coffee and card at home. Today's or this afternoon's card three is on a basic black um, using crumb cake and two circles. One is basic black and one is whisper white and it's got a white matte layer that I've added to the inside. So um, these are the bits that I need to start. I need to cut a matte layer, which I will do to add in a minute. There we go. Right, so um, again, your card base is, hang on, she says not having the measurements. Your card base is five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, so it's half of an A4 sheet, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter or ten and a half centimetres for my normal ladies. Now, your mats are, oh, I've got a spare circle there. Your mats are, the crumb cake is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Your scallop circles are three and one eighth in diameter and two and three quarters in diameter. I've cut these using the stamping up layering circles. And um, for everybody that subscribes and has a kit, I've cut the kits, these bits in the kits for you. So we're using the Someone Special stamp set. I'm gonna pop this to one side. We're using the lovely raccoon and the heart. A memento ink black pad and our glue. Right, I'm going to pop my card base to one side and I'll score that in a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is randomly, and this is very random, is randomly stamp all over my base. Let's pop that to one side. The next bit we're going to stamp is the lovely raccoon. I'm just going to lay him down, ink him up, and stamp him in the middle of my circle. There you go. And lastly, on the piece that's going inside your card, you're going to stamp one heart down in the bottom left hand side. Okay. Right. Let's, before we stick this on, we're going to do some Wink of Stella onto this. And I'm just randomly going to add some Wink of Stella. Not to everyone. Because it doesn't need it on everyone. You just give your card a bit of sparkle on the front, which I think is really pretty. Which one to do? That one. And perhaps that one. And then I think that is more than enough. So you'll be able to see as it dries how lovely and sparkly that is. Right. I'm going to glue this bit to my base. Let's first of all score our base at four and a quarter or ten and a half. making sure you're using a scoring blade. Just use your bone folder to give that a nice crease. Taking your glue, I like to use Tombow. Don't go too near the edges because otherwise when you press down it's all going to come out the edges and we don't want that. Oh, that was close, nearly stuck my hearts upside down. Pop it into the centre of your card. There we go. Okay, right, then we're going to glue our whisper white. Oh, 
and we're going to pop that inside the card. I like that. Okay, that's the inside. Now we're going to, and this is what I shouldn't have done, before you stick your crumb cake layer down, you need to trim off a small section of this um, after you've stuck your white circle on. So with dimensionals, let's just stick our white circle onto our black circle. So this is a case of don't do what I do, do as I say. So before you stick your crumb cake layer down, please stick your raccoon down. Now on this card, I've coloured his belly. On this one, I'm not going to do it because I kind of like the monochrome, but it's entirely up to you which way you do it. We're going to, before we stick this down, you're just going to need to trim off a section of these. So with your scissors, I'm just going to trim off a section just like that. And then that will stick off the edge like that. And I'm just going to glue that down. So top tip to you is to read my instructions because it's all in the correct order on the instructions, unlike in my video. And I'm going to pop that down there like that. I might wink of Stella, another one of these. And that, oh yes, and that is card three finished and you've got both versions there. Okay, look forward to seeing you for card four.